First coffee, welcome to our third episode of Talking Pest Management. We're again in Germany at Futura and today we're talking to a very special guest from South Africa. Her name is Eileen Slaver, that's her, she's Divisional Director at EcoWise. EcoWise is one of the most renowned companies in South Africa, specialized on high uh, and food sites, pharma sites, AIB certified site. She's a professional in IPM and integrated pest management. She knows everything about green and digital pest control and has a great vision for the future. Today with Eileen, we're talking pest management. Enjoy. Hi Eileen, good to see you. Hi, fantastic, <laughs> good to see you too. Thank you for joining in to the Talking Pest Management. Um, I would love to uh, give you a couple of minutes to introduce yourself to the audience. So Eileen Slabber, South Africa, EcoWise, what do you do? Oh, I do basically everything in pest control. I just love pest control. I've been uh, about 23 years in the pest control industry. I studied for a health inspector, environmental health. So I sort of accidentally ended up in pest control with heads up implementations and yeah, I just love it. Aline's been over in, in Germany, I don't know, like last year, end of last year, right? And I know you're a frequent yeah. traveler and always curious when it comes to new methods of pest control and the perception of Africa, I mean, South Africa is something differently, but when people hear South Africa, they think like mediocre pest control. But everybody who's ever been in South Africa knows it's completely different. So maybe you give people a little bit of a take of what um, South Africa in terms of pest control means. Oh, definitely. Um, it's not like we've got the big five here that we have to kill. Um, I think it's basically <laughs> the same as throughout, um, you know, when I was visiting Germany, I noticed that Even, I mean, if you compare, like you remember, uh, visiting a supermarket or a food site in Germany uh, compared to South Africa, um, of course, the high quality food sites are equipped with a lot of, you know, electric fly killers. But in a supermarket in Germany, you would maybe see one or two. In South Africa, it's full of them, especially the fly, the fly thing and uh, the um, perception of people of a fly in South Africa is completely different as a pest. Uh, as in, in, in Europe, for instance. So, uh, But speaking about uh, the sites that you deal with, there's a lot of AIB and I think IFS sites as well. Um, how did you manage to um, transform that into non-toxic sites with your business? Obviously, through your AIB standards, they are quite strict. Uh, they do inform you that you can't use like toxic base, obviously, mm. Inside, but in South Africa, we haven't been using toxic baits inside any premises for, I think, it's basically now 18 years uh, wow. that we definitely don't put any toxic baits. Uh, we now, even at the stage where we actually uh, do non toxic blocks around the ex outside perimeters, but due to our droughts and especially Cape Town and Namibia. 
Um, we do have the issue of the, you know, the rodents coming towards the premises now to finding food. So, um, you know, we have to think of that as well because now we have to make the choice. Uh, do we put the food at risk? Or are we going to place the toxic baits on the outside? So, because some of our food factories are like in a mountain area, you know, like in Comiki area, that's a beautiful area in Cape Town, but it's, it's, it's covered these mountains all around. So, you know, we've got even baboons that come to the food factory (laughs) and we have to make sure, you know, the baboons and so forth also stay out because they would also want to get into the food factory itself. Um, But wherever we can do non-toxic, inside of all our food factories, it's completely non-toxic. So we use catch traps, live catch traps, uh, where we train our clients to to do the inspections and to check it daily. Uh, and to inform us if there's any uh, mice or rats caught. Perfect. As you guys see, very, very front running. Um, I know that you've also tested some of the NARA products, right? The NARA spray, I think you had great success with. Yes, yes, definitely. Um, we have seen they love the meat in South Africa. Yeah, the meat, <laughs> the meat aroma. The meat. good to have an you know a, a range of uh, non-toxic alternatives right when you want to go green it's you need to have a, a bit more than just you know uh, the regular ones and yeah i think the big uh, because, hmm? yeah because now in south africa we do have a problem of uh, tractants to the the snap traps at this yeah. stage um because obviously peanut butter is not allowed in the food industry because allergens. it's allergen yeah um and but yeah we do we do find that some clients you know they're trying to take matters in their own hands and then you will get there and see people placing peanut butter everywhere and it's a big big no they should not do that at all um but yeah so it is a it's a safe option for us the Mm. we know it's not an allergen you know that's in the nara spray yeah do you know that the na in nara stands for non-allergen so it's actually been ma- it's been made for non-allergen sites around the world from the very beginning. And uh, spoiler alert, in uh, the third quarter of 2019, by the way, uh, NARA is going to be made out of a 100% biodegradable polymer. So wow. that's, that's really an advancement. We've been uh, doing a lot of science there the past five years, but now we finally, with no quality... Uh, um, reduction of stuff we have found a perfect formulation but uh yeah just a quick spoiler for you <laughs> um what would be your quick take on um, digitization and mouse traps snap traps in general also life traps uh, for other animals what's your take on that for vision for the future definitely um it's going to happen it's uh we we already in south africa has got the the scanning um, the digital, um, it's just going to be a mindset change, definitely. Mm-hmm. It's for us, we do find it's, it's a mindset, and uh, but it will take a year or two, I would say, and then there will be almost no paperwork involved. Yeah, no, I also meant uh, not only paperwork, but the digitized, you know, s- uh, traps with sensors, remote traps that report 24-7. interesting I would say because now you know we can wait till the next day maybe so I think it might put extra stress 24 7 on 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 staff uh, your staff that's physically doing the services maybe um, so we can only see but I can see definitely a future for it 
What would be like my last question would would be as always, what would be your vision for the next five to ten years in pest control? What can people learn from what is your vision in South Africa for your business um, that you, you direct at EcoWise? And uh, what do you think are the key things pest control business owners or food manufacturers should think about uh, when thinking about pest control in the next five to ten years? I think definitely making sure that you're treating the right pest. Uh, so many uh, PCOs, pest control operators, make the mistake of not identifying the type of insect. Um, I do, or rodents, I do find out that that is the biggest mistake in, uh, with everybody. They sort of, they just assume it's a, a type of stored product pest, so it's the rice weevil, and then it's actually your sword tooth or it could be a flat grain beetle. And the same with rats. If you don't know which BT you're controlling, it is going to be so, so difficult. And too many people just want to also use pesticides as the first uh, option. Yeah. And it shouldn't be. Um, and sanitation and cleaning, I cannot talk more about that. I mean, I, I walk into so many sites and then I want to ask somebody, You know, you must be glad you don't have an elephant inside this food factory because really your doors are standing open. Um, and then people will complain, you know, your clients will complain, oh, they've got rats, they've got mice, but they're not, um, they're not closing their doors. They're not sealing off and, and uh, the, the holes. Um, I mean, like I've seen now also quite a few posts about people using the foam to close holes. I mean, the foam, they eat right through it. Um, Easily. And I think it's, you know, and it's educating your clients. I mean, so many don't know that rats can enter through toilet areas. Um, closing closing your toilet lids. Uh, making sure you've got self-closing devices on your toilets, you know. Making sure you don't have gaps bigger than a centimeter for rats. For mice, it's a half a centimeter. Closed doors, closed openings, um, and yeah, they come through ceiling areas. They are just so clever in this. Yes, People IPM is still underrated, yeah, right? Yeah. IPM, we talk about that for so long, but it's still underrated. I think the yeah. educational process of getting your client in the boat and uh, giving him the uh, knowledge of how to do correct IPM, that's still something that's so important. Yeah. So what would be your take yeah. on uh, how would digital and green affect the next couple of years? Like green alternatives I and digital it, products? Yeah, I think it's changing uh, people's mindset back to listen, there's other options and there's better options than just mm -hmm. putting toxic bait down or spray toxic chemicals because I mean, Uh, everybody always wants to run and just kill it with a pesticide. And, I mean, I always say clean first, um, sanitize, and then place your non-toxic methods, like your NARA, like um, your non-toxic uh, NARA blocks, uh, your, you know, all these traps that you can use. I mean, because in the end of the day, you don't want to place toxic. Um, that is your last, last resort. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what we do here in South Africa, and that's what EcoWise uh, Group and company is doing. We want to look after the environment. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure, you know, um, these food for owls and all of those. Yes. And we don't want to kill them in the end of the day. That's a perfect closing sentence. I will put your EcoWise website in the video <laughs> so people can contact thank you. Very you. Much. <laughs> Ali, no, thank, okay. thank you for the time. Thank you for the lovely talk. It's been no, great for people to, to learn about yeah. what you guys do in South Africa and uh, really are way yeah. more front running than people would uh, perceive. Thank you for that. And we hope to get your products all up and running here in South Africa very soon. Yeah, we're working on it. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much and have a great day. Good okay. talking to you. You too. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Take care. Bye, Ali. Thanks. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. That's episode number three of Talking Pest Management. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our video. Make sure to hit the bell icon so you will get notified. And I would also appreciate if you like or comment on the video so we know how do you, you know, obviously the, the sound quality wasn't perfect, but at least uh, I think you understood what she said. And I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe our channel and like and stuff like that. As always, follow us on Instagram and see you in the next pest management. Bye.